In this video, we're going to talk about five very powerful, scientifically proven strategies for becoming happier in our lives. The strategies come from the book, The How of Happiness by Dr. Sanya Lubomirsky, who is a professor of psychology at University of California. I highly recommend this book because every strategy is backed up by fact-based, evidence-based research. No hand-waving, woo-woo kind of stuff here. Okay, before we jump into the strategies, let's understand what we have wrong. We believe that somehow our circumstances, improving our circumstances, getting more money or improving certain other circumstances in life will make us happy, but that's not the case. Our circumstances only account for around 10% of our overall happiness. The remaining 90% is distributed between our initial set point and the actions we take in order to become happy. So now let's talk about the five most important strategies to get ourselves to become happier in our lives, to live happier lives. The first, probably the granddaddy, the meta strategy of all strategies is gratitude. And how do you get the most out of gratitude? You keep a journal, you keep a daily journal, you keep a weekly journal, you write down what you're grateful for. But not only do you write down what you're grateful for, you also write down why you are grateful for this thing you're grateful for. Because you really have to feel the feelings of being grateful for something before you can get the benefits of gratitude. So just saying that I'm grateful for my car is not enough. You have to say something like, I'm grateful for the fact that I have a car today because 16 years ago, I was riding a bicycle in 110 degree heat every day when I was in college. So that changes things a lot. And now you start to feel the emotions of gratitude. Another way to express gratitude is to express it to someone else. That gives both you and the other person a boost in happiness. The second key, one of the biggest strategies is meditation. Now meditation has been proven by research to improve our overall levels of well-being, mental well-being, even physical well-being. It defeats anxiety, it defeats depression, and of course it improves our overall levels of happiness. It's known to reduce stress, it's known to reduce anxiety, and it gives us a sense of calm. So meditation, even five minutes of meditation on a daily basis can give you a huge boost in your overall sense of well-being. The third key strategy, third really important strategy is exercise, physical exercise. Yes, our brains and our body are connected and it's really important to use our body to make ourselves happy. Why does exercise work? Because when we exercise, our brain releases the endorphins, which are a feel-good hormone. But not only that, the brain also releases what is called brain-derived neurotropic factor, BDNF. And BDNF acts as a, a reset switch. It helps in building memory, it helps in building our brains, but not only that, it also resets our system. So many times when you might have experienced that when you go for a workout, it just resets your overall system. Your brain feels sharper, you feel sharper, and you feel like you have a high from the workout. So realize exercise is a great, great, great strategy to get more happiness in your life. Now the fourth big strategy is social connections to nurture your social relationships to find time for people in your life to show encouragement towards them to show compassion towards them to show kindness towards them because the amazing thing about social connections is that when we go and help people out when we are kind towards them it adds to our own well-being the more we give the more we get so social connections really really important strategy for happiness and the fifth final strategy that we're going to talk about is the idea of having a purpose, a mission, having goals and projects in life. Because when you have a purpose and mission in life, you are going somewhere in life and that's when you can find a lot of joy in your day-to-day -day activities, a lot of joy in your life. When you have goals and you keep a journal and you keep thinking about those goals and you're pushing yourself to your limits to accomplish those goals, to go after what you think is important in life, it keeps you active, it keeps you alive, it keeps you vibrant. There's been research that's been done that's shown that for every extra year that people retire early, their life expectancy goes down by two months. So for standard age of retirement is 65, when someone takes retirement at 64, their life expectancy has gone down by two months. For someone who's taken retirement at 63, their life expectancy has gone down by four months. So having a purpose in life, having a mission in life and going after it is really important for our mental well-being as much as it is important for our overall well-being. Okay, so how are you going to apply these five happiness strategies that you've just learned here? Remember, there is no learning without action. I always say that. And the longer you delay taking action, the less are your chances of remembering these ideas and doing something about them. So you must take action right now. I think that one of the most powerful happiness practices you can pick up is meditation. 
It is a meta level strategy that will help you put all the other practices in action. So I want to help you get started on meditation. I've been meditating for over 20 years now and I have put together a really simple guided meditation recording that you can just play at any time and start meditating. All you really need to do is download this guided meditation audio here and press play and you will be meditating in no time. Or you can just download the guided meditation audio at 2000books.com slash meditate. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you would like to grab a copy of the book, the link is in the description below.